Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general of reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Lovarina. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So, your energies, guys. The sun and the temperance. Two major arcanas. Your person's energies will afford you. The empress. Well, this is quite a flow. Meeting of the energies. Knight of swords. Strength card. Focus. Five of swords. Bottom of the deck. Another major arcana. The chariot. Success moving forward. At full speed, especially because of the Knight of Swords influence that can play a role. Um, the Five of Swords in the focus, guys, as you may know, this is an ego-driven energy for me. It can be about someone around you guys, around some of you, around some of your persons, around... Uh, the two of you even this can be someone a little bit jealous of your connection someone that can even uh, talk about you guys kind of behind your box so it is positive to see the temperance and the strength card in this flow of energies this can also be an energy about the past and in the focus it can be some type of factor that some of you and some of your uh, potential partner um, pay a lot of attention to, which is positive because it allows um, a person to avoid to be uh, caught up in the dynamics that, um, that can be associated to the Five of Swords. Six of Cups bottom of the chariot um, my favorite card in the deck as you may know the connection is meaningful guys uh, for you in favor of your person and vice versa you can know each other um, since previous stages of your life journey uh, this is an energy that finds roots in the past will of fortune even more um, but it's a pure connection. This is an energy for me that is about the purest of arts. The gesture that the kid is doing in favor of the little girl comes from the purest place of his art. This is a soulmate energy, we can agree. A past life connection, if you are willing to go down that road, I know that I would, so I'll tell you. The Wheel of Fortune gives a further touch about um, that factor. And this connection is extremely promising. And if someone is jealous, they need to uh, kind of make peace with their mind because they cannot avoid this powerful connection to, um, to manifest towards the success that is kind of meant to be. And so some, some of you guys, what can I say? This is a beautiful combination. The sun is about uh, happiness. We can agree, happiest card in the deck, fulfillment and satisfaction. But for me, this is an energy that is about the self, inner happiness, the courage coming from a person to ask themselves and kind of realize where their true happiness is so that they can go for it. They can pursue it. They can amplify it in potentially every aspect of their life and when we master this virtue that for me is as important as the self-love one uh, we can share it with a special person and with those around us so that we can even become a source of inspiration as i usually say so that other people can find 
uh, their courage to pursue their own goals. The temperance is all about a um, wise approach that you guys can truly display with great comfort. This is a divine alchemy. Uh, the ability to balance things out, to find other people uh, halfway, to meet other people halfway, to find common grounds, uh, even the willingness to compromise, as I usually say, but without forgetting the virtues and the values that we believe in, a factor that uh, plays a role within the Six of Cups energy, core values, um, core memories even, that can be a source of powerful guidance, even in the most challenging times of the journey, bottom of the Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, which is a single status, and this can be the opportunity for two persons, uh, single, to uh, join forces in favor of a lovely and quite a reliable couple uh, for some of your persons wheel of fortune fate and destiny for sure um, this is an energy about life chapters life cycles that follow one another major lessons are involved uh, this is also an energy that cannot be rushed it takes its own time to unfold um, there is divine timing at play indeed uh, i kind of love the fact that the Wheel of Fortune shows up with the Empress because the Empress is about a healthy growth and if we think about a healthy development we cannot rush the process otherwise we may run the risk to compromise the outcome this person may kind of be built in that way when it comes to the willingness to accept the course of the events they may have been looking for a partnership that was a fulfilling one for them according to their values their virtues kind of like some of you guys but um, for them in particular because of the will of fortune and then kind of the time is right the wheel spins and allows a brand new cycle to begin it's an auspicious and um, potentially a successful one uh, with the chariot. The Empress has mastered the self-love ability, which is a plus in favor of this person and in favor of the partnership that they can manifest with you guys. Um, the Empress is capable to recognize what are the opportunities that are deserving of her nurturing and loving energies so that she can truly take care of these opportunities in a way that can allow them to um, develop so that they can achieve the highest possible potential. That's why uh, we can say that the Empress is about a healthy growth, something that is fair, balanced, fulfilling, and of course with... Um, a deep love involved. The success that you can get thanks to this partnership is blessed by the chariot, which is for me an energy that gets the feeling like wishing upon a star and allowing the star to guide the chariot to the place where it is supposed to be. But this is also a fast energy. The Knight of Swords goes along. Um, we need to pay attention to the Knight of Swords as an energy uh, because sometimes it can be about um, harsh words because the Knight can get uh, so excited that he may run the risk to uh, lose focus in order to convey a precise message. This is not the case about the two of you um, interacting with each other. It's a potential factor if this Five of Swords is channeled by someone outside your connection, someone a little bit jealous, a little bit envious, someone that may talk uh, behind your backs. Uh, you may know it or not, so maybe pay attention to the interactions that are unfolding around you or around uh, the connection that you may uh, desire to manifest. Um, because if this energy is directed toward the partnership 
it's an excited one in favor of the opportunity to move things forward because a major recognition has taken place. A person may uh, decide to join forces with a, a fair companion, as I usually say, um, when the Nine of Pentacles shows up. Someone that can even be a friend, an old friend, someone that you know uh, particularly well. But maybe uh, someone else does not see the partnership uh, kind in the same way. So again, they will have to make peace with that. And that's why the Knight of Swords channeled towards this individual or these individuals may be a little bit uh, tricky as an energy, but there is an encouragement to avoid meaningless interactions, petty fights or arguments even because of this trend card, which is about holding back patience kind of taking the higher road um, there is trust for me in this trend card and so if you trust the connection with uh, your special person and vice versa you can find a way even together to avoid um, again arguments meaningless and petty fights that are related to some ego driven pattern that is taking place around this lovely connection um, in this trend card the lady is able to tame the beast going with the general meaning of the card so to overcome the challenges of a difficult situation because she can earn the trust of the lion by displaying her finer qualities her true colors that's why she can establish a, a bond of trust with the lion which is gorgeous but still dangerous. So the trust that uh, can be in favor of your connection can allow some of you guys kinda to embrace the role of these people surrounding the man with all the swords. Um, as I usually say, an ego-driven situation kinda like uh, someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter. This is an encouragement, guys, to uh, avoid to get caught up in a situation that is not that important. And if someone else uh, needs to be left behind, so be it. So let's pull some oracle cards, guys, for guidance, considering these energies. Blessed, which is about a positive outcome. After all, blessings coming in. Uh, clean it up, which uh, makes sense considering the fact that this lovely card uh, is about uh, clearing the air and we have a clouded uh, sky with the Five of Swords. So this is important and this can even be a, a lucky break. Well, a lucky break if we find the way to release this type of uh, vibration, the Five of Swords, and a lucky break uh, for sure <laughs> in favor of some of your persons uh, dealing uh, with you guys with the combination of energies wheel of fortune serendipity a lucky turn of the events and the chariot can allow the two of you guys to move forward towards success action you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul which is a lovely energy and three more here we go Unity. Well, we are talking about a beautiful chance to be together. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified sun energy and has a ripple effect across the universe. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Uh, this can be an energy that uh, is directed towards someone that is caught up in a Five of Swords energy, kind of demanding for the respect that is due in favor of two persons that may decide to be together why not and cause and effect you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results the decision to be together channeled in a fair balanced and lovely way can create some uh, effect around you and so maybe um, an interaction uh, needs closure 
um, because they cannot see this opportunity in the same way as the two of you are able to see. But overall, it's auspicious, guys. There is success, uh, quite a lot of satisfaction in favor of the two of you and the opportunity to be together because the partnership is trustworthy, respectful and kind of blessed with a maturity that can pay off because you can find a way to fulfill your wishes even together and not just by uh, yourself. So guys, quite a lovely flow. I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best guys. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.